guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to create a bot which is going to give us the current price of Bitcoin. So for that we are going to use Node.js to scrape data on CoinMarket. So this is a great video if you want to get started into web scraping with Node.js. You will learn the basis and will at the end of this video be able to create many other web scraping bots using Node.js and JavaScript. Anyway, let's get started. Firstly, as said earlier, we're going to scrape data on CoinMarket. So for that, the first stage when we want to do web scraping is to look at patterns inside the URL. So here, as we can see, we have the currency name. We can change it with, for example, Ethereum, and we're going to go into the Ethereum page. So there is a very logic patterns, and we're going to use it for our bot. So firstly, we're going to initialize our project on Visual Studio Code. So for that, tap npm init dash y. And this is going to respond yes to all the questions. Then we're going to create so our file, which we're going to name index.js. We're going to go into our package.json and here replace the test by start and then here put our command, which is going to be node index.js, then just hit save. Then here, so we're going to need for this project for this project three package. So the first one is going to be node cron. So this package is going to be useful for the execution because we're going to, for example, specify um, a specific um, uh, cycle. So for example, our uh, bot is going to run every 10 seconds, every five seconds. Anyway, it's going to be very useful for that. Then we're going to add uh, Axios, which is going to be very useful for sending requests, web requests, HTTP requests with Node.js. And finally, we're going to have Cheerio, which is going to be um, absolutely um, um, great uh, in order to scrape data into an HTML file. So just install those three packages and this is going to be the basis for our bot. So let's just uh, require them. So const cron equals to require uh, node cron um, const uh, axios equals to require um, axios const um, Cheerio equals to require Cheerio and once we have required all of all of those um, packages we're just going to do a console log um, Bitcoin scraper pack uh, and so this is where our uh, script or bot starts so we're going to create a function which is going to be called runbot um, and this is going to be of course an asynchronous function which, gonna, which is going to have one parameter which is going to be the currency and it will be set by default to Bitcoin. So let's do that. Then we're going to have a variable uh, which is going to be the URL you want to scrape. So for that, basically, you need to copy the uh, coin market URL um, and put it into um, those brackets. And here we're going to change Bitcoin by um, currency. So the parameter that is passed into this function. Um, then we're going to have uh, our request, which we're going to send uh, with Axios, so this is going to be a basic GET request to this URL. So const response equals 
to await Axios that get URL. And then once we have the URL, which we're going to uh, load it with Cheerio. So for that const Cheerio, Cheerio that load, and then re response that data. Once we have that, we're gonna basically scrape the price. So here, as we can see, the price is right there. Um, so you can just open the developer tool. Um, actually put that in responsive, okay. Here you can click this little button. Uh, we're actually going to do that and this, okay. Now you can click this little button right there and over, um, hover over the price of Bitcoin, just click. And here you're going to need to copy the, um, the selector. So eat copy selector, just put it, um, let price equals, just put the selector right there. Uh, price selector, we're going to say. Um, and so this is going to be um, our um, how we're going to find the price into our uh, HTML um, page. So once you've done that, what we're going to do is actually get the price this time. So for that, uh, use the door sign, which is a sign here, and put our uh, price selector, and then uh, we're gonna select the text because that's what interests us. And then we're gonna console log, console log um, the, um, the, um, Actually, we're going to say um, currency, currency, uh, we're going to put it to uppercase tag, and we're going to put um, the price just after, so like that. Uh, and now let's see if it works. So we're going to say run bot, okay. And uh, so price is never reassigned, okay. Uh, let's just see if it works. So do npm start in your command line. So let's just clear all of that firstly. Do npm start. And let's see if there is no error. And actually there is no error. It uh, actually gives us the current price. So if we refresh, we're gonna see that it's the current price of Bitcoin. Now the last step um, is that we want our bot to actually run uh, every, for example, 10 seconds. Because it's not that interesting if it only gives us the price at a specific moment. We want our bot to run um, nearly every time. So for that, we're going to use not cron and we're going to say cron schedule, oops, sorry, uh, schedule. And then we're going to, so this is, you can look on the internet, but basically we're dividing here uh, one minute by 10. And so this is basically saying that we're going to run about every, um, every uh, 10 seconds. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, and five, okay. Um, and then we have the callback function, which is gonna be run bot. And here, as we're gonna see, if we do npm start, this is going to actually uh, gives us uh, the price of Bitcoin uh, every 10 seconds. So let's see if it works, npm start. So Bitcoin scraper, and here, as we can see, so it's still the same price, and it gives us the price every 10 seconds. So um, it seems like this bot is working. 
as we can see, we have um, successfully scraped data on a website, which is here a coin market cap. So you have learned the basis of web scraping and how to create bots with uh, Node.js. So that could be particularly interesting if you want, for example, to create uh, an algo trading bot. Algo trading bot, sorry, uh, because it gives us the price in real time, and you could basically work with uh, websites such as Alpaca to um, to sell and buy uh, actions and uh, Bitcoin. So uh, tell me if you want more videos over web scraping. Um, I was planning on doing a video on how to create an algo trading bot. Um, or also, I'm, I'm also planning on doing a video about sneaker bot. So tell me if that interests you. And thank you once again for your attention. As you can see, the bot is running every 10 seconds. Uh, so thank you guys and see you later.